I'm going to show you how to make an infinity mirror out of a shadow box using only parts from Amazon. And an infinity mirror is just an effect that you can get by installing two different types of mirrors and some sort of light source in between the two mirrors. You're going to need one regular mirror and a two-way or one-way mirror. I don't know which one is the correct definition. Thankfully, this is actually a pretty simple process to demonstrate. All that we need is the two mirrors and some sort of light source. So in this case, I'm gonna use a flashlight. Now you can see that it goes on forever. The light is just reflecting back and forth. This right here is an excellent example. This is a rear view mirror for a car that I was able to put in some color shifting LEDs. It came with some solid color LEDs, but I replaced them with these. Fortunately, the battery on this only lasts about five minutes, but people have been able to build some amazing pieces of art working with infinity mirrors and working with several different versions of infinity mirrors. My favorite pieces of art using infinity mirrors are something like this. It's an icosahedron or something like this, where you can install a small piece of ladder and some vinyl that looks like brick and make it look like a ladder that goes on forever. Another one of my favorites is whenever people use them on cars. I first saw this with a guy named Steve Mullins. He popularized the infinity mirrors on cars on his R32. I personally have been able to build a few sets of infinity mirror taillights for cars as well, such as this Mark IV Supra. But in this video, I thought we should start with something simple and something pretty easy and relatively cheap. Uh, just a shadow box with two mirrors. To start, we need to talk about tools. Right here on the bench is everything that you're gonna need to create your own infinity mirror. Starting with the shadow box itself. Next up, this is going to be the one-way mirror film. We're going to apply this film directly onto this glass. Moving on to the actual mirror. Now, this is just a regular mirror. This is going to be installed behind the shadow box. Next is some Amazon LED strips. I've used these several times for different projects, especially around the garage. First thing we need to do is to take apart the shadow box. You're gonna take it apart just like any other picture frame, just by lifting up the little tabs all the way up. The first thing that we can do is actually take the background for the shadow box, this white cardboard, and throw it in the trash because we're going to use the mirror for that backdrop now. Now it's time for the more difficult part of the install and that is to install the film onto the glass itself. They were unfortunately sold out of the complete kit whenever I ordered, but I'm going to link up the kit that already has a knife, a squeegee, and the spray application so that you don't have to do any of that yourself. If you want to save money and just make your own film applicator fluid, all you really need is a water bottle. Uh, I did mine about three quarters of the way up and some Dawn dish soap. Just a couple of drops, three, four, maybe five drops in there. You really don't want a whole lot. Shake it up and then you can poke a hole in the top and spray it right on the glass. That worked just as well. Now I'm gonna be the first person to admit that I am not the best at installing film, especially film on glass. So I'm gonna link other videos that uh, I think are gonna show a better process. Uh, but this is the one that I learned. So this is how I'm gonna do it. First, I'm gonna clean the glass with a fresh microfiber so there is nothing on there. Next, I'm gonna spray on the film applicator fluid. Okay, after 10 minutes of fighting it, I finally got the film to loosen up. Now that you have the film on there, you gotta squeegee out all of the fluid. Now that it's all squeegeed out, it's time to trim it, but I am not gonna cut it on this because I want this to look good still, so. Okay, now I got it all trimmed up. If you want to, you can actually sand the sides down so that it's a little bit more flush and looks a little more like a mirror. 
Right now it looks like a regular mirror, but if you hold it up with some light behind it, now you can actually see through it. That is what's gonna give us the infinity mirror effect. Now that we have the mirror part out of the way, it's time to actually install the LEDs inside the shadow box itself. I tried to install it so that the connector itself is somewhere where you can't really see it. Of course, it's gonna be really hard to hide. That thing is pretty beefy, but usually a corner is just fine. Unfortunately, in my case, all I have left of the one that already has the soldered on connector is this much. So I am actually going to have to solder the control directly to the strip. Okay, now it's time to install the LEDs. I'm trying to install them in the middle so that we don't have, so that it doesn't have weird gaps with the mirrors installed. Okay, let's test out the LEDs really quick. They are working. Now it's time to assemble everything. Starting with our one-way mirror. Now it's time for the actual mirror. Did you catch that? How about that time? Did you see it? So I accidentally ordered the wrong mirror for the shadow box that I was built. I built this first one years ago and whenever I reordered, I completely forgot what size I used and I just guessed at a number. Well, it was too small, but I did order the correct mirror size for the box that I built several years ago. So what I ended up doing was having to put the LEDs inside of the old box instead of the new box. Pop the back cover back on. Flip it over, plug in the LEDs, and there we go. One infinity mirror. If you want to get a little bit more creative, what you can do is you can add something in the middle of the mirror. This right here is literally just a sticker that I put in there. And because the LEDs are lighting it up, it makes it look like it goes on forever as well. 